It's simple. You can owe Arcturians for the support you need, and they'll help you. Being nice to everyone, playing the nice person role, it seems to be a theme for me. It's probably the same for people who are watching this. By making intention, it moves the energy. Just now, a big love energy comes down here with a message saying, Thank you everyone for being born on the earth. I think that uh, we've learned that Arcturian is such a merciful being. Hey, welcome to Starseed Channel. This is Yoshi. This is Akiko. Hello. Today, we seem to have a special guest next to Akiko. I see a mysterious mask. <laughs> Can we start with you telling us about what's going on there? Is that okay? Yes. This is my older sister. She came to India. And she is the guest for today's video. She doesn't want to show her face on the video, so she must. What was this again? This is the Syrian. So, can you ask your sister to introduce herself? A good idea. She's a spiritual worker, so please. Please. Hi, this is Solar Iris. Nice to meet you all. As a brief introduction by myself, I was once living in Okinawa for about 10 years. During that time, a healer told me, you are meant to be a healer, so please start studying to become a healer as soon as possible. Back then, I had a job which was totally different from healer. And while I worked at the hotel, I got some lessons to become a healer. I've explored many things as of now. I'm mainly providing lecture for channeling, Arcturian healing. Okay, I first met you at the last offline gatherings in Tokyo, what I can say. Well, well... My first impression of you were a faithful person, isn't that so? Yes. Yes, I appear to be so. But you changed. It's not easy to uh, read her character. Don't know what's going to come out of her. I see. To today, uh, you'll be providing us an uh, Arcturian healing. First, can you please tell us what is Arcturus? Maybe it's not familiar with some for some viewers, including myself. But what's what's it like? Oh, Arcturus is a reddish orange color star, big star. It actually exists in the space. It's a tremendously big star. Our sun is about a hundred times larger than the Earth, right? Arcturus is uh, many times larger than our sun and there are many Arcturians living on that star. Arcturians use light to heal. The healing skill is exceptional as Arcturians uh, wanted to help the earth. They bring the healing by connecting with us on earth together. When I first experienced Arcturian healing, I was like, oh, how interesting. I, could resist, I couldn't resist my excitement. Then I started to do it by myself. So that's how I got into it. You know, yesterday, somehow, I heal her from Mount Shasta, who does Arcturian healing came to visit me and I don't know why but I re received the Arcturian healing yesterday. I guess the timing is perfect. Does the Arcturian is uh, really hot now? What does that mean? Mm, I agree. Arcturians can bring healing with a cosmic skill. 
that we cannot, we do not have on earth. So, the healing is not like the receiving and a provider. It's rather a co-creation with Arcturians, together with your higher self, co-creation with the spirit. Arcturians use a cos cosmic skill to bring a shift and awareness you need at that time. It's an amazing healing. Through Arcturian healing, it can remove blocks that you couldn't remove, help you let or go of something you held on for decades. Many people receive those chances from it. At this moment, it's even more necessary. Other healers of Arcturian healing mentioned to me that they saw a vision of people queuing up to receive Arcturian healing. And that's how I feel now, too. It was uh, the energy we could not bring to, down to the earth. There are not much people who are skilled enough to do that. Also, the earth maybe was not ready to bring down that energy together with the Arcturians. But now, it's possible. I get the message that we can do it now. So, now is the timing. It, it came to Yoshi too, and also to myself. And that my sister is here. I didn't know about Arcturians at all. Um, maybe same for some viewers. Arcturians is not um, part of our solar system. We don't learn about Arcturus in school, do we? Arcturus is a uh, stars of Arc Archangels, right? It's where the Archangels are from. Like a famous one, like Mikhail, or from Arcturus. I believe so. It's not familiar for Japanese people, but in Hawaii, the star is called Hokulea, and the vessels navigated with an Arcturian star. So, outside Japan, Arcturus was considered, considered as an important star, but and Japanese is not so familiar with that star. I see. I understood. It's a well-known star for some regions. So, I came to know this star this time for some reasons. Moving on to Arctus feeling, first, how do we start this? I was taught to intend before. So I intended about two hours ago, and what should I ex expect now? Uh, did a message come already? The healing for Yoshi is completed already. Then you can tell him what has been done. Please explain. Okay. Can you explain it? Okay. So first of all, Oh, wait, we we didn't mention that we did this healing for the salon as well. No, not yet. Uh, so for the viewers, it's good to good chance to know how to of Arcturian healing. The first step is to intend the Arcturian healing an hour before the healing, right? Yes. Can you tell us how do you intend to bring the healing? Yes, please explain the flow. So, to start the healing, should we make an intention? Yes, correct. But before that, you need to give permission to the team of Arcturians for them to bring the healing. There is a law of the universe that for cosmic beings to support the humans, humans must take make a request or else cosmic beings cannot be involved. Therefore, the first step is to give permission to Arcturians for them to bring the healing. Then you intend to be healed. You can also intend to be how you want to be or any improvement you want to bring to yourself. So, so let's say the intention is done accordingly. People may might think that they have to pay it to Arcturians or thank them how somehow. Should we? 
um, actress helps help us without any charge. When I do it for my client, first I connect with actors. Next, I connect myself to the client, and I receive a session fee from the client. But actors have to think. Um, working for free. Do we have to thank Actrians or pay? Um, about thanking Actrians, Actrians gain great pleasures from supporting humans. We can thank Actrians for that. We can spend appreciation to them. But it's, it's, it's better to ask them for more support and co-creating will bring them pleasure. I sense that for Arcturians. Once you have connected for, with them, calling f for more help will make them happier. It helps Arcturians for their growth as well. I see. You can ask them for more support. Yes. As a result of a requesting, do we receive any message from them? I. Oh, oh, I saw your sister's face a bit. <laughs> About one, one fifth. <laughs> it should be okay. Ah, uh, I should hold the mask when you say it. Wait. So, I'll explain about what Actrians and I did for healing for the online community. Uh, this is uh, an energy center in the online community. We did the cleansing uh, of the center, and uh, then an uterus part of this the community, uh, the femininity part, uh, and the creativeness part. We healed and released, and we urged the femininity and the masculinity of the online community to be released and to be integrated. Next is expanding and the space of heart. We used the Arcturian heart mandala to activate the cellular at the cellular level. This is for the members of the community and also for the heart space of the online community, which is the space of love, uh, expanding the space of love and releasing the inner child. And for en enhancing the accessibility of stars and planet, I encouraged the cleansing and harmonization to connection with the stars and planet. As I felt the soul of the universe, the spirit of the universe are hurt, hurt in many areas. So we brought the restoration to that. Next to an in integration of yin and yen, uh, opposing elements of an earth such as black, white, a male, female, and etc. Uh, when those in yans uh, become integrate, integrated, not only people can be released from judging everything into good or bad, but be broad-minded enough to accept the variety. When this happens, uh, the vibration of the, the community becomes higher. This includes expanding the capacity of tolerance. And next, the big bang, bang of the spirit. For this, we've done healing to release the mind of the uh, online community members. After that, uh, removal of uh, psychic energy in the community and unnecessary ones. The residues of unnecessary part was also removed. There was an energy parasite as well, so it was a healing from the big energy. Therefore, we did healing for 100 times. After that, an, an alignment of inner universe energy, alignment of a bliss, blissful energy, aligning to the abundance. Hold on, you should, do you have any questions? It's okay, uh, please continue. I'll ask the question later. Okay, please continue. Yes, after those work, there are many supports from the spirits like uh, Mary Magdalene's the connection to the earth was built and it was cleansed. This was to create a bridge between the ascension process of the earth and the online community. 
Beside that, the work for unnecessary memory or karmatic habits to be naturalized by arterial vibrations it was the, it was rooted out. Also, information of the being beginning of the universe were downloaded from the Arcturian library. It's intended to bring awareness for uh, online community members. Then uh, there was a support from uh, Syrians since uh, many uh, members have souls from the universe. Each of their reason stars are supporting them. Syrians supported to enforce the connection between the uh, community members and the stars. Then uh, worked for right and left brain. It was just for uh, members to connect with subconscious instead of thinking ahead. There were also support from the dragon Liu. We connected with the dragon energy and cleansing was done. Also, Sigmet, Ibiji Sigmet came to uh, support for cutting off something to let go of something you couldn't let go of. Then, the Goddess of Abundance. We made a connection to the Goddess of Abundance. Late, lastly, Arcturian's Ascension Light Work. Can you hear it? Well, so Arcturian's did so much a variety of works. <laughs> I had no idea. This variety of work was all brought by Arcturians by themselves. Yes, Arcturians did all the job by themselves, like they they did by themselves. Yes, uh, we first made an intention to heal the salon, uh, the community with the Arcturians, and then they brought those works were necessary to heal the community. So, did they do that? The did they choose those decisions? Well, there are three t team members of the Arcturians to decide what to do. I see. So, Akiko's sister explained it was connected to three Arcturian members and asked them what they do. Exactly. Arcturians are working so hard. <laughs> Yes, they do it by speed of light. Maybe working too much, aren't they? The spirit of service is amazing. And the other was an Akiko just discussing on healing the salon just for a minute, and then actors brought thousand various healing works. It's actually the energy started flowing right after we requested the healing to my sister. I could feel it. The energy came two days before my sister actually connected them. I see. Hmm. Well, remember I said about the healer from Mount Shasta who came to see me for mysterious reason with no request for myself? I see it because it the timelines changed. So I mentioned this at the very previous video, but when I made my decision into mind to heal my mental blocks, unexpectedly I got this chance of healing. Uh, it was in a perfect timing. Same as after in healing, when we decided to make certain changing in my mind, the change comes to reali reality from an expected place. It seems like when I intend a certain change in my mind, we bring that change into reality. Probably same for the viewers. Some viewers happen to watch this video because they envision that something similar in their mind. It's because it happened in their conscious level. I believe that's true. It's interesting. And how can I say? Well, um, I'm hoping we could bring something nice for our viewers. How can I do what, that? Any ideas? Okay, we actually have a message and a proposal from Arcturians. Arcturians. That's good. Good idea. Okay, 
Um, a message from Arcturians on our intention. Our intention to harmonize the energy in the, the community and mem the viewers. And also we are intention to go gradually step by step with everyone. Arcturians are saying, it's important that you are open to entrusting and receiving its femininity energy. And trusting and relying, relying on others are very important. Don't try to be a nice person. Be yourself. Be the way you are. I see. Being a nice person, playing the nice person role. I do this very often. It's a theme I need to work on. Probably the same for the viewers. And it's a symbolic theme for Japanese people. Is it? Is that actually in advice? Yes. Why we shouldn't? It's about being broad-minded enough to accept everything, not only the good things. For this, we first need to accept black and white, good and bad in ourselves. So for example, when some someone accept you, upset you and you feel anger, we often deny that anger. We do not follow ourselves, even feel the anger. I think I, it's, it's a bad thing. We tend to hide our emotion like this. Rather, it's better to accept ourselves feeling anger when we feel it. By doing so, we would be able to accept others' blackness and whiteness without judgment. On the others, on the, on our side note, someone once told me, um, if I aim for a perfect whiteness, a perfect virtue, virtue, the universe will get in your way, may stop you. So to be clear, accepting everything naturally is higher vibration. Judging into good and bad is lower vibration. Accepting the grayish, being net neutral, it's it's not about the, the, the alien gray, but being uh, neutral is a higher vibration. So when you keep aligning to the higher vibration, when you, what you see as your flaws will also disappear. It's because, because uh, you become aligned with a higher vibration. So when you judge yourself, when you deny yourself for not being perfect, it's better to accept your flaws. Then the flaws disappear gradually. When you, when you can accept your flaws, you can do the same for everything, everyone. I believe that what Arcturians are telling, trying to tell us seems to be like that. And another advice from Arcturians? Yes, it is. Um, they're telling Yoshi to be more relaxed, more creative. Yoshi needs to raise someone who's better than himself in some area. Yoshi needs to focus on that seriously. Mm. I believe Yoshi is excellent in many areas, but when you decide to educate someone to be better than yourself, life will be easier for you, Yoshi. If you make yourself surrounded by superior people, you can only rely on them. Instead of doing everything by yourself, I don't know if Yoshi is, but if you become a perfectionist, you're not relying on others. People around you miss the change to grow. So raising some someone better than you, relying and trusting others, it's like trusting a child to grow. If you could do that, Yoshi will become more creative. Other people will grow. That's what they are saying. I think. Yes. I see. I'm grateful to hear that message. By the way, <laughs> by the way, for people watching this video, can they get support from uh, Arcturians? 
How can we do that? How to get a healing from them? Yes. Uh, is there any simple way to do that? Just watching this video. Yes, it, it's simple. You just call out Trillions and um, ask for support. Yes. Just intend to connect with uh, Arcturians and receive the support. This time, it was for our online salon, online community. So, so we made an intention to clear on the subject. So, for people people who are watching this, I recommend to do the sim similarly. Just make a request for support on specific things, and or and they will help you. Same for everyone. You can. Only ask them what you want to do, or just like, uh, please bring a healing, and then they will do that. But how could we do specifically? Yes, that will be better if you say specific things. So if we tell the viewers the key point, uh, specify what you need when asking Arcturian support, rather it's like um, having trouble with this and that, Hmm. Yes, specification seems to be important. In my case, I was requesting Arcturians roughly. My intention was too rough. Uh, Arcturians told me that they couldn't help because it was too rough. They couldn't figure out what support that I needed, so I needed to tell them in detail. So, for example, if you have a pain in your shoulder, can you um, heal the shoulder to release? Or if you're busy, um, ask them to help you. Something like this, a uh, really detailed um, request will help them support you more easily. I think uh, energy, the intention is a moving of energy, so you need to intend which direction the energy needs to go. So with your consciousness, so the energy flow will be too rough. Mm. If I can add the point to that, uh, you should talk clearly uh, with area you want healing. You may have area that you don't want, you are not ready to heal, like uh, some mental block in certain area. Arcturians cannot support in that area. So you need to open yourself to receive the healing. <laughs> the cows mooing. That's actually an important point. I know that some people who came for Arcturian healing but received only small change. On the other hand, people could let go of something which they struggled, struggled for decades. The difference on effectiveness. It depends on how much one can accept the healing some have mental block to prevent the healing. So I recommend you to open up yourself to Arcturians. I guess. Just now a big love energy came down here. Um, with a message saying Arcturians, thank you everyone for being born on the earth. You are a pleasure for the Earth just by existing on this planet. The Earth is sending us a message of gratitude. It's telling us to live joyfully by taking a good care of ourselves. It's telling us that the space is ready to support you anytime. And you can ask the Earth, Arcturians, any existence you feel close to you to help you. It's hoping that your life be full with abundance, fun, by you asking for support from those existence. That will be all. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Okay then, That's, that will be all for today's video. On the next video, can I ask Arcturian to heal my broken heart chakra? If not next time, maybe in the future.
maybe. Well, yeah, I agree. As we record, as we recorded this video with the theme of Akchun healing, I've learned that uh, Akchuns are such merciful beings. We used to believe Akchuns are mysterious beings, but actually, many people I know are originally from Akchuns. I've been involved with Arcturus in the past, and also my sister is very much involved. I feel the same for Yoshi too. That mysterious being is actually very close to us. I believe more information on them will be disclosed gradually. Mm, I agree. Okay, let's finish our video. I ask us, Akiko, join us for the greeting. Dewa dewa. <laughs> Just. Yeah, wave your hands. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Dewa dewa. The sun's setting here.